foot pain can be debilitating and greatly affect daily life activities. One condition that frequently causes distress is Morton's neuroma. In this video, we will explore the causes, symptoms, and treatment options for Morton's neuroma, shedding light on this condition and providing valuable insights for those affected. So, what is Morton's neuroma? Morton's neuroma is a non-cancerous growth of nerve tissue that affects the ball of the foot, most commonly between the third and fourth toes, but can occur between any two adjacent toes in the foot. This neuroma is typically the result of the thickening of the tissue surrounding a nerve leading to the toes, causes discomfort, pain, and a feeling of a pebble lodged in the shoe. Some people will state that there continually feels like a rolled up sock in their shoe. While often called a neuroma, it is not a true tumor but rather a nerve inflammation or thickening. Several factors contribute to the development of Morton's neuroma, including 1. Footwear. Wearing tight, narrow-toed shoes or high heels can compress the toes and increase the risk of nerve irritation. 2. Foot shape. High arches or flat feet can put excessive pressure on the nerve, increasing the likelihood of developing Morton's neuroma. 3. Repetitive trauma. Engaging in activities that place repeated stress on the forefoot, such as running or participating in sports like basketball or tennis, may lead to the development of Morton's neuroma. 4. Existing foot conditions. People with bunions, hammer toes, or other foot deformities have an increased risk of developing Morton's neuroma. Individuals with Morton's neuroma may experience various symptoms, including 1. Pain and discomfort. This is the hallmark symptom of Morton's neuroma, often described as a burning sensation, numbness, or tingling in the ball of the foot and toes. 2. Feeling of a foreign object. Many individuals report feeling as though there is a small pebble or fold in their sock, even when there isn't. 3. Radiating pain. The pain can extend from the ball of the foot towards the affected toes or back towards the arch. 4. Worsening symptoms. Activities that place pressure on the affected foot, such as walking, standing, or running, often exacerbate the pain. In many cases an individual might walk or run a certain distance and the pain will start. They may rest a few minutes, and the pain subsides, only to have it return when once again they have walked or run the same distance. 5. Altered gait. Due to the discomfort caused by Morton's neuroma, individuals may modify their walking pattern, potentially causing other foot or leg issues. 1. Conservative approaches include changing footwear. Wearing shoes with a wide toe box, low heels, and cushioned soles can provide relief. Orthotic devices. Custom orthotic inserts or arch supports can help redistribute weight and alleviate pressure. These orthotics should contain a metatarsal pad or a neuroma pad. Medications. Over-the-counter pain relievers are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, can reduce inflammation and alleviate pain. 2. Medical interventions include corticosteroid injections. These injections deliver anti-inflammatory medication directly to the affected area, providing relief. Alcohol sclerosing injections. This treatment restricts the nerve's ability to transmit pain signals. Surgical intervention. When conservative treatments fail, surgical removal of the neuroma may be considered. The complications of neuroma surgery include permanent numbness in the affected toes. But, a more severe complication is what is known as a stump neuroma, where not enough nerve is removed and the patient continues to have pain. 3. Physical therapies. Ultrasound therapy. Using high-frequency sound waves, this technique may provide relief by reducing inflammation. Electrical nerve stimulation. By delivering small electrical pulses, this therapy aims to interrupt pain signals and promote healing. To prevent or reduce pain from Morton's neuroma, try these suggestions. Invest in well-fitting shoes with ample toe space. Alternate shoe types to avoid constant pressure on a specific area of the foot. Listen to your body and rest or modify activities if you experience foot pain. However, if symptoms persist or worsen, seek professional medical advice for a proper diagnosis and personalized treatment plan tailored to your needs. Conclusion. Morton's neuroma can be a distressing condition that affects daily life, but it is treatable, by understanding the causes, symptoms, and treatment options available, individuals can seek the care they need and regain their quality of life. Remember, prevention is key, and early intervention offers the best opportunity for successful treatment. Take care of your feet, listen to your body, and seek timely medical guidance for a positive outcome.